So after about 20 years of running an old Craftsman gasoline-powered lawnmower, uh, we decided to try out uh, an electric battery-powered mower. So we've got this Cobalt 40-volt mower. has two lithium-ion batteries. One is a long-run battery, which is charging now, and one is a short-run battery, which is in the box still. The charger is pretty lightweight plastic. And the battery actually clips in there pretty tight. I already have it in there. I can't get it out one-handed. I just wanted to show you all the back. I'm going to hang this up on the wall so that we can charge that battery up instead of taking up table space. So these are the batteries. You can see they're not very big, very lightweight lithium batteries. There's a quick charge and a long running. They've also got a tester to show you how much battery is left on these. These came out of the box showing 50%. We just picked it up at the local's Lowe's store and I didn't even think about videoing this until after I'd cracked the box open. But as you can see, I'm just opening it up. I just got the battery charger out. I just got the grass catcher out as well, the bagger. The mower's pretty lightweight. Pretty well. All with cardboard packing material. You can see I've freed up the entire device inside here. It's ready to go. So here's the unit out. right out of the box. I was able to easily lift this out of the box on my own without anybody's help. For people that are worried about recyclability, all the packing material is cardboard. Uh, that's all the plastic there is. Here are the docks that come with the mower. We've got a little dock on the charger, the batteries, and the unit itself. So I've got it laid out. Really easy. Nothing to this thing. That locks up in place. Handle unit will connect on here. So you just remove the uh, you just remove the thumb screw. Leave this loose, and it's got this lever, and you can just lock that guy down. Same thing on the other side. Same goes for the bottom of the handle. Comes out of the box, they're pretty open. There's a clamp for your cable. Now there's two battery compartments. And according to what I've read and heard, the battery should seamlessly jump from the one that's discharged to the one that's charged. Adjusting the deck height is pretty easy. You just, you know, obviously going down is a little easier and coming up, but pretty simple. There's two blades. So again, what I read was the theory behind that was the smaller blades take less energy to spin, and you get a little longer battery life out of it, and the larger cutting swath. Bag attaches very easily on this. One-handed. I'm not sure if that's possible. There are two hooks bag hops into mounts on pretty firmly and I was able to do it with one hand which is kind of nice but probably won't happen in real life but interesting nonetheless uh, the lawnmower is very lightweight I'm not sure how many pounds it is but it's maybe a, a third the weight of our old gas power mower. Uh, batteries are very lightweight as well, just a couple of pounds a piece, so that doesn't add a lot of weight to your mower. My main concerns with this, uh, I don't really know much about this stuff. This is a little bit of an experiment, but it's got a five-year warranty, so I figure if it's gonna break, that's not bad. It's got a three-year warranty, they said, on the batteries. Uh, I've gotta send the receipts in and stuff to get that. Uh, other concerns right. I've got are the plasticky parts. These plasticky levers here, here. I'm worried about those things wearing and breaking. They're not very sturdy. Uh, as a whole, there's a lot of plastic on this mower. The entire deck is plastic. Uh, it's just it's pretty much all plastic. There's a few metal parts here and there. We got a metal shaft for the for this unit. We've got a metal, metal teeth for the deck height all the way around. So that's just my main wearability out of this. Uh, we got 
20 years about out of our last mower. So I'm afraid this one's not going to last that long, but it's an interesting experiment. I like the idea of not having to maintain the engine. Uh, there's no, there's really no maintenance it's on this thing. It's early spring now. At the end of the season after we've used it for the year, I'll, I'll make another video on it and pop it up and hopefully I can help some other people maybe avoid a mistake or, or if it's good, maybe get a nice mower or something We've got a medium sized yard. This is not a huge yard, but it's not small Hoping either. This so. takes care of it. Run time is supposed to be around an hour for this and it takes about a half hour to do the back lawn and a half hour to do the So we're lawn. cutting it kind of close with the run time and we'll see how it lasts.